from Nigeria to South Africa, Egypt and Uganda. Africans have been reflecting on the past year and voicing their hopes and aspirations for the year 2019. Nigerians are hoping there will be an improvement in the economy to encourage local businesses in addition to peaceful elections, I'd say. South Africans hope politicians will honor their promises no matter who wins in the upcoming election. Egyptians want inflation rates to fall. And Ugandans want more press freedom. Let's take a listen to what Africans are saying about their expectations this year. I have dreams to produce very good clothes. You know, because since I'm in the business of clothing the nation, I want to do much better than I've done this year. I want to produce, be able to produce something good. And that is if my government will aid me, because uh, we need a uh, steady light supply. We need good governance. When they talk about change, let it be real change. The government, since the 2019 elections, they must stop propaganda, then uh, they should fulfill their promises on what they tell us they're going to do for us after 2019, whoever who wins the elections. My host for the country, you know, I like the way the country is going on under President Ramaphosa. He's cutting corruption. And I just hope our economy, you know, can just keep going well, doing well, because it will be good for both of us. The really big hope is for, you know, the country, the, you know, the education system to be run better than it is now, especially on the security. You know, kids are being killed in the schools. So, like, every day when my kids go to school, you know, I'm worried. Are they going to come back alive? We'll stay in South Africa just a bit. In Johannesburg, it was a rainy crossover into 2019. President Cyril Ramaphosa, in his New Year message, encouraged the citizens to work together with government to build a better country. He also warned that difficult decisions will be taken to tackle the challenges ahead in 2019. Our South Africa Bureau Chief, Betty Dibia, reports. Happy New Year from Johannesburg, South Africa, where the heavy rains have forced the revelers to do their partying indoors. Hopefully, no spirits have been dampened. It spoiled it a bit because of uh, all the plans, all the places closed early. Thank you. Happy New Year. To me, it resembles blessings. The rain is bringing blessings upon us, South Africans, and I'm hoping 2019 will only bring the better in us. President Cyril Ramaphosa in his New Year message warns his people that difficult decisions will be made to tackle the challenges that lie ahead in 2019. In 2019, we will be called upon to work with greater focus and determination to confront our problems and create new opportunities for all South Africans. We will need to take extra ordinary measures and work together to take some difficult decisions given the challenges that lie ahead. And from Nigeria's number two citizen and diplomat, we bring you some goodwill messages. I think the new year is going to be an, an absolutely wonderful new year. This is a new year where we're going to the next level. It's going to be a great new year for us all. A wonderful, peaceful, happy new year to all of us. May God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe also and pray that 2019 will be a great year of fulfillment for the entire country. South Africa and Nigeria head to the polls this year, and the prayer is for the very best for the people. I wish that all Nigerians will have a peaceful campaign and peaceful elections come February 2019. And then whatever happens there, that we accept that what the people have done, they have spoken. May the will of the people indeed prevail in both countries' elections. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Happy New Year. Betty Dibia, Channels Television News.